Afternoon everyone, this is Shane with Velocity Multirotors. I'm doing a test on this modified QRX 350 Pro. It's got uh, Opera ESCs, full APM side pin, uh, T motors, the 2213-950 kV, self-tightening carbon fiber props. That's more for sport flying actually. Um, got the new legs it's got a uh, it's got a, a full OSD VTX and telemetry it also has the gimbal power and an added accessory power in case you want to add something else there um, I also uh, added uh, some small heat shrink tube over the antenna tips does not affect distance control distance that protects the tips and keeps them from getting broken off the end of the antenna cables um, what else have we done? The power module on this one is not integrated into the power board like I usually do with them, but six and one, half a dozen the other, it works, it's clean. Um, so let's power it up. Just a little while ago, I was getting 20 sats on the GPS. That's pretty dang good with clouds. All right, now we got zero sats, and we should start seeing some come in here. Now, I may have it in the dead spot. I have a dead spot in my driveway right here, and I probably shouldn't have set it right there, so let me move it up a little bit. Now, there we go. As soon as I moved it, 17 sats. Uh, that right there can be a lesson for you guys. Um, there are dead spots all over the ground, uh, and I have found one, and it's right here, right here. In, it, within a foot range, square foot or so right there, there's a dead spot, and I, I can't get one sat lock right there. I move the copper a little bit, and then it instantly starts ca capturing sats. Um, let's arm it and disarm it so we can get a good, accurate home point set. Now we're in manual mode right now. Let's go into position hold. All right, you saw position hold activate. All the trims are centered. It's holding position very well. The wind's not gusting right now. Let's fly around in position hold. Nice and smooth, no crazy movements. Full throttle pitch back. Let off the stick. And it is going to adjust. It, when you let off the stick in position hold, which is hybrid loiter, it is going to move around a little bit as it hunts for the spot it wants to stay in. That's perfectly normal. All right, let's move it around a little bit again and let off the stick. It hunts and then stops. And we still do have a good bit of wind out there right now. And you can see the copter as it, as it adjusts itself. Oh, look at that bird. I've actually had birds chase these things. All right, let's move it again. Stop it. Now, position hold and loiter and things are going to get a little bit better when we add weight to it. Right now, it's not really running anyway. Um, it's bare at the moment um, but when we add a camera and gimbal to it it's really going to 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 anchor the quad in the air and it's in position hold you'll get a or loiter you'll get a whole lot more steady hold um, right now I'd be kind of upset with that hold uh, with the wind blowing it like it is if I had a camera on it but when we put a camera and gimbal on it it's really going to hold it down the other thing is I'm running carbon fiber props, so with the wind buffeting it like that and no flex on the props, you're going to see it in the movement of the body. All right, return to land. It's going to climb 20 meters. Move over to the home point and start landing.
There we go. Everything's looking good. We got 20, 19 to 20 sats locked in right now with cloud deck. So that's pretty dang good right there. Uh, that's awesome actually. Um, so that's it. That'll do it for now. Everybody enjoy their day. Thanks for watching.